Raw materials inventory refers to a business's stock of materials that have yet to be used in the manufacturing process to create a finished product. During this production process, raw materials are used to create work-in-process inventory or work-in-progress inventory, which turns into finished goods to be sold by the business. Inventory tracking is an important part of supply chain management, when it comes to the raw materials used to create work-in-progress inventory, and later the finished products. Stock levels must be monitored and costs and labor must be accounted for. Therefore, keeping track of the types of inventory and the materials used to create those inventories is an essential part of proper inventory management. That's why many businesses turn to inventory management software to help with this process. Why do businesses have raw material inventory? Companies that sell goods can purchase finished products or acquire raw materials and make the finished products themselves. The reason why businesses decide to carry raw materials inventory is based on a few different factors. It is cheaper to buy their materials and produce the product than it is to buy the finished product outright. It makes custom production easier. To reduce transportation costs and transit times for high demand materials by having them on hand. To prepare for production demand variations. For seasonal demand. To create a more efficient and financially viable procurement process. To implement the manufacturing process within the business, you will need to have your inventory management under control. Part of good inventory management is finding reliable and efficient suppliers. How do you calculate raw materials inventory? To calculate raw materials inventory, you will have to have information available on a few specific things. Beginning raw materials inventory the number of raw materials in your stock at the start of an accounting period. Raw materials purchased, concerning the number of raw materials purchased during the accounting period in question. Cost of goods sold, the cost of purchasing or manufacturing the products that the business sells during a specific period, including all labor, materials, and overhead costs associated with the assembly process. With these things in mind, you can calculate the total raw materials your business is holding by using the following formula. Beginning inventory plus purchases added, minus ending inventory equals total raw materials. Businesses will predominantly use the raw materials inventory formula for finding the ending inventory amount for an accounting period. Remember, the ending raw materials inventory is used as the beginning raw materials inventory for the following period. This formula is as follows. Raw materials inventory purchased plus beginning raw materials inventory, minus cost of goods sold equals ending raw materials inventory, 